Feminists and leftists in general have always been loud mouths regarding what they believe to be women's rights. Transgenderism and gender ideology just go to show how stupid and crazy they actually were to begin with. They are now actively destroying women's rights, and they don't even realize it. I think. In any case, they are doing this in different ways, but let's take a look at public restrooms for this one. I've looked, and looked and looked. I cannot find a single instance where a transgender person has been accused of assaulting someone in a public restroom. Do you know why? Because they're going in there to use the bathroom, right? You're out and about, you're shopping. Hey, I need to go relieve myself. You go in there, you do your business, you wash your hands and you leave. That, that's it. That's it. And we're saying that that is too much. That is too much of a, of a privilege to extend to transgender people. They're just trying to exist. They're not out there breaking laws. They're, they're, they're not out there doing anything wrong. They're not coming after us. They're not trying to indoctrinate us. They just want to live. And here in Florida and across the country in red states, we're saying, no, your existence is offensive to me. So I want to oppress you. The interesting part about this guy's preaching is that even without there being actual incidents of bathroom assaults by trans people, the point still stands about women having the right to feel safe and comfortable in their own spaces. For those of you who don't know, trans activates the claim that you don't need to alter your own body in order to transition. You can just say you are a man or a woman and people must accept it without question. In other words, you can be a hulking bodybuilder and get access to spaces reserved for women only, just by uttering a few words. The point is, this isn't just a matter of sexual assault, it is about people's right to feel comfortable and safe, especially for women. I can guarantee you that most men won't think of a woman entering the men's restroom being an immediate threat. But men do, however, have the right to express their discomfort and demand the woman to leave. But uh, if a man enters the women's restroom, an normal woman will view that as an immediate threat. After all, why do you think they start screaming during such moments? Do you know what we call women who believe someone entering the restroom saying they are trans women? Stupid and gullible. If you are a trans activist, you may argue that a trans man who underwent surgery to look like a man should use the men's restroom, because her new look would put uh, other women at unease. Well, then you said it right there yourself. The look of a surgical trans man still put uh, women at unease inside restrooms. These trans men chose to destroy their own bodies. They made their choice, but real men and real women should not stand for it. I have already explained why trans women shouldn't be allowed inside women's restrooms. So, why shouldn't men allow trans men entering their restrooms? Because if we allow trans men to enter our restrooms, then we actively and willingly choose to ignore the rights and safety of real women. Yes, even with laws decide to protect women in their own spaces, there are still men who prey on women, trans or not. Even so, there must be laws, because without laws, there is no punishment nor justice. And without punishment and justice, criminals and mentally unstable people have nothing to fear. They're just trying to exist. They're not out there breaking laws. They're, they're, they're not out there doing anything wrong. They're not coming after us. They're not trying to indoctrinate us. They just want to live. As a quote-unquote cis man, I don't need the acknowledgement from others about what and who I am. Why can't trans people think the same way? I'll tell you why. Mental illness, be it narcissism, gender dysphoria, or both. Let me try to put it like this. Do you have female friends, sisters, a mother, or a grandmother for that matter? Regardless, ask yourself this. Would you be fine with allowing someone like this breaching their privacy? Whatever your answer is, uh, allow me to show you that there are sadly parents out there who prioritize public perception over the safety of their own children. This is an area where I am torn, I'll be very honest, because I can see both sides and, 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 it, and it sounds like I'm on the fence and I have one foot in each side, 
I'm a mother of two teenagers. My daughter does track. She does high jump. She's going to be mad I mentioned it on television. But um, and she's very I don't, talented. So be proud. <laughs> I, I, I am proud of her. I, I don't know how I would feel if, if there were a biological boy who was trans who was competing in that. I'm being very honest. Because when Riley Gaines talked about male geni genitalia just hanging out in the middle of a women's locker room, how is that attacking? How, how is that attacking trans youth? I, I really want to try to understand, because if your daughter were put in that position, what would you tell her? Well, I'd have to be put in that position. I don't know. So, basically, before you want to start thinking of your own daughter's rights and safety, you gotta make sure you're politically correct. Mother of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Is this feminism?